The Turn of the Screw is a horror novella written by Henry James in 1898 that first appeared as a serial. Later that year, it was brought together as one piece of work. It's a prime example of both horror and gothic fiction. It's Christmas Eve, and our narrator finds himself around the fire with friends as they exchange dark stories. One of them, Douglas, tells them about a manuscript that his sister's governess wrote when a handsome bachelor employed her to care for his niece and nephew after the death of the previous governess. He lives mainly in London but has a country house in Bly, Essex. Miles, the boy, goes to a boarding school, while Flora lives in Bly, being cared for by the housekeeper, Mrs. Gross. Their uncle doesn't much care about raising him, so he leaves the new governess in charge, giving her deliberate instructions not to bother him. She travels to Bly and starts her new position. On her first day, the nervous governess meets Flora and Mrs. Gross, but she's comforted by Flora's charm. She receives a letter from the headmaster announcing that Miles has been expelled just before the summer break. The letter doesn't divulge what he did to deserve this, but the governess consults Mrs. Gross, who feels that he can be bad, but not much different than other boys. Miles never talks about it, and she doesn't bring it up since she's soon fond of him. The governess starts seeing the appearance of a man and woman on the outskirts of the property. She sees a man in a tower of the house, and they stare at each other. Later, she sees the same man in the dining room window. When she discusses her experiences with Mrs. Gross, she says the man is Peter Quint, a valet who is now dead. The governess becomes very protective of the children since she's sure that this ghost is coming for miles. When she's at the lake one day with Flora, she sees a woman dressed in black clothes and feels that this is Miss Jessel, the former governess. She also deducts that Flora was aware of this presence but didn't show it outwardly. She again returns to Mrs. Gross to question her, and she reveals that Quint was too free with Miles and Miss Jessel with Flora. The governess remains alert, but days pass without anything happening. She's reading one evening and is interrupted. She goes to the staircase where her candle is extinguished, and she sees Quint rush up the stairs as they stare each other down once more. She finds the bed curtains of Flora's bed pulled, but Flora is missing. When she notices movement, she suddenly sees Flora, who cannot explain the whole event. Her sleep is restless the next few nights until she sees Miss Jessel sit on the bottom stair with her head in her hands. When she goes to bed, she awakes with her candle no longer burning and Flora standing at the window. Without disturbing Flora, she goes to another window overlooking the same spot, and she spots Miles standing at a distance on the lawn. The governess talks to Mrs. Gross about Miles telling her that she wanted to show her that he could be bad, and the governess deduces that the children meet with the ghosts. Mrs. Gross tries to convince her to share this with her employer, but she refuses, being under strict instructions not to bother him with stories of the children, even threatening to leave if Mrs. Gross writes to him. When they walk to church one day, Miles announces that he wants to go back to school and will ask his uncle to come to Bly, which makes the governess not join him in church. She instead circles back, planning her departure. When she sits on the bottom stair, she suddenly realizes that this is the spot where she saw Miss Jessel. She heads to the schoolroom and sees the ghost of Miss Jessel there, which she yells at as it disappears. These events change her mind to stay in Bly. The children and Mrs. Gross return to the house, not saying anything about her not being present in the church. She finally writes to her employer. That night, she listens at Miles' door, and when she's invited in, she asks him questions and embraces him. As the candle goes out, he lets out a yell. When he plays the piano the next day, she suddenly realizes that she's unaware of where Flora is, and she and Mrs. Gross find her at the lake. The governess spots Miss Jessel, 
but the two other people there seem not to see her. Flora accuses her of being cruel, and the governess breaks down on the ground. The following day Mrs. Groves tells the governess that Flora is ill and that she's taking her to her uncle. She also says that the letter the governess wrote to her employer was never sent, as it disappeared. Left alone with Miles, she talks to him after dinner, asking him if he took the letter. He admits he took it when the governess sees Quint outside the window. She's horrified to see him, and she stops Miles from looking out, telling him that he is no longer under the spell of this ghost. He goes limp and dies in the governess's arms. If you have any suggestions of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.